Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about HTML headings. Now, before talking about HTML headings, I need to uh, uh, I didn't I need to explain some stuff that and when we, when you're working with HTML, there are some elements that uh, their names whose names they actually have some meaning to them. They are called semantic elements. HTML5 basically represents all these semantic elements. That's because this version was created because it also created some other semantic elements. What is the uh, example of a semantic element? For example, this body element. You can see that the name of the element is body and it is very meaningful. It says, it basically says that it is going to contain the body of the HTML document. So it is a semantic element. You have title, it's, it, it represents the title of our HTML element. It says HTML headings, you can see this title in the browser's tab as well, right here. So these are uh, semantic elements. This HTML itself is a semantic element, this head is a semantic element. That is one thing that I needed to explain. The second thing is HTML elements can have attributes. Now, those attributes are exactly like Python uh, items, uh, Python dictionary items. So what do you have within a dictionary? You have pairings of key value, right? So you have key value pairs. An attribute is a key value pair. Now, most of the times it is going to be key value, but sometimes it could just be like a value, no key. So uh, in a Python dictionary, we had a key, which was the name of that specific attribute for that dictionary. And then you had a value for that attribute. The HTML attributes work in the same way. So what is an example of an HTML attribute? So now you know what is the um, opening tag, what is the closing tag, right? Any kind of extra information that comes after the name of the element in the opening tag, it is that is called an HTML attribute. So HTML attributes will only be applied in the opening tag and they will come only after the name of the element. That's why the name of the element is the first thing that you can see. So just taking this HTML element into consideration. So this HTML is the name of the element. Lang is the, this language is the attribute. What are the key values? So the key is Lang, the value is EN. Stand for, stands for English. So you can see right after the name of the element, we have the attribute. Some attributes have values. Some don't. For the most part, you're going to see attributes that do have values. So like this char set is the key to this attribute. What is the value to this attribute? UTF-8. This is the key and this is the value. This is the key. This is the value. And this entire key value is called an attribute. So the HTML element has how many attributes it has one attribute this metadata has how many attributes it has two attributes so each pair is an attribute think of it like that and you do not separate different attributes by a comma that's different so you just you just have to provide a, a space that's how one attribute is separated from the other so what about this one how many attributes does this metadata or meta tag has it has two attributes. The second attribute has two values, but again, it has only one attribute and two attributes. And these meta metadata elements, they are very good examples of self-closing self tags. Again, self-closing tags are the kind of tags that don't have an ending tag. So they are, in other words, these kind of elements, they're basically called tags, like meta tag, meta tag, meta tag, but title element body element image tag when it says tag it means it doesn't have a closing tag so i just wanted to clarify these stuff as well so we can get started easily now html element uh, the html has six different headings denoted by h1 which is the biggest to h6 which is the smallest so this is uh, heading one now, another cool trick is that you, you're going to hold shift, press alt and the down arrow. It is going to uh, duplicate that line. Hold shift, press alt, down arrow again, 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 again. 
So the first one was H1. I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to say Control D. I'm going to select the other two and I'm going to say H2 just to speed up this process. And I'm going to say H3. You grab this and you do Control D. It is going to grab the next occurrence of it. So one, where is one uh, repeated? There. And where is the other one? Right here. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to say H3. Oh, this was H4, right? So this is H4. Uh, this is H5 and this is H6. Let's save that. And there we go. So you can see H1 is the biggest and as it is going down, it is getting smaller and smaller. We can take a look at them inside the in, uh, developer tools as well. So if you click on this and if you click on any heading, you're going to see our content that we have written here. This H1 all the way to H6, they are right here. Right? So this is going to be it for this lecture. See you in the next one.